All right, we're here in game four of our legacy uh, game series here. Uh, we have won the die roll, so that is pretty sweet. Uh, I'm Cody Smith, one of the hosts of Fish and Merfolk Podcast. Make sure to check us out on all the places you can find your podcast, which is you know the Google Play Store, the Apple I iTunes Podcast App Store, YouTube, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Spreaker, uh, all those places. If you can rate us in all those places, that would be super great. It's a great way to support the show, and uh, it takes zero of your space bucks. You keep all your money. Let's go ahead and keep this and see what we can do here. Verdant Catacombs from our opponent. Wouldn't it be great if we played another Dark Dark Depths deck? But we have Trickster and Phantasmal Image, which is great. Oh, Snow-Covered Forest. Sylvan Safekeeper. Oh, well, this is this is uh, Dark Depths again. <laughs> and we'll get an Aether Vial down and just pass the turn to our opponent. There's the lesbian stage. Lesbian stage. Yep, we will put a counter on our Aether Vial here. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. You guys have been amazing, and it's been awesome having you. Um, let's go ahead and get the Lord down here. Also, getting uh, having Aether Vial uh, with with Phantasmal Image is pretty sweet. We can start. Uh, we can, you know, instant speed Vial and Merfolk Trick or uh, the Phantasmal Image to copy Merit Lage. Put Thought seizes us. They're probably going to take one of the Phantasmal Images. Yeah, it really is. Um, but uh, it's something we got to deal with, unfortunately. And one of the ways we can deal with it is just by pressing the advantage. Like, just forcing our opponent to take a bunch of damage. They've already taken some, so... All right, so we are going to aggressively force of will if they crop rotation or anything like that. They don't if they pull any of that nonsense. Um, yeah, it is kind of weird that they led on it, but yeah, yeah you get you, you know things happen. Hmm, do we get a second vial going, or do we phantasmal? Copy the Lord and swing for three. Uh, and just keep up Force of Will. What we need to do is we just need to attack. We need to keep uh, an extra Force of Will, or an extra Phantasmal Image in our hand for Force of Will. And uh, we need a Phantasmal Image in our hands at all times uh, for the Merit Lage. There's the Merit Lake, or there's the Dark Depths. Oh yeah, we should have definitely played that vial. That was my bad.
Oh, we can't do that. Aether file. Attack here. Yeah, we don't have a merfolk, unfortunately. <laughs> That is pretty much the only the only time that uh, that phantasmal image is really awkward is when our opponent uh, uh, or when we just don't have the uh, <sighs> and here we are in the awkward position of it's not our turn and uh, that's why they got rid of the merfolk trickster. Cause he just sacks the Sylvan Safekeeper. Like he doesn't even. Do... Well, see, I, that's what I was trying to do. I, I tried to attack with the twenty twenty. Um... I guess they can't really respond to it with Sylvan Safekeeper. For the uh, Silverio Adept. I wonder why our opponent attacked there. It's interesting. Oh, he Caracas our Merit Lage. Okay. Okay, yep. Concede. Yep, because uh, we, we dead. That's uh, that's Corey. That's honestly uh, why I did it that way. Uh, what I did, what I wanted to do, was I wanted to make it so that uh, we're gonna do the same sideboard plan as last time. I wanted to make it so that our opponent had to uh, like maybe it would just force them to attack or force them to block because then we could main phase. Um, copy it with the with the uh with the phantasmal image uh, and then we'd also have a backup but obviously they didn't come through for it hey merfolk master how's it going uh, we are having some fun here in legacy uh true name nemesis again being too slow and not a flyer uh so what else did we cut last time we need yeah let's cut two vials Um, actually, I think Vile's more important than Chalice. Let's cut one Vile and one Chalice. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun. We're playing some, some Legacy Merfolk. Uh, we're 1-2 right now, uh, entirely because of my... It's, it's entirely my fault. <laughs> Alright, this is fine. Uh, we got some Sorcerer Spyglass so we can name multiple things, and, uh, if they, uh... Um, uh, if they have removal, then, you know, like, uh, if they have their erupt decays and whatnot, then we have multiples of the Sorcerer Spyglass. We can get down a Lord next turn, or we can just Sorcerer Spyglass to, to name whatever comes up. Because if they just Thespian Stage right now, it's like, yeah, just Thespian Stage. Well, and honestly, uh, uh, fish folk, that's that's kind of one of the reasons why I do streaming is because uh, there's just so much competition. Like, I mean, we have Green Ranger doing his thing. Uh, there's another new guy that's doing Arena Merfolk. Uh, all right, thoughts he's. Let's see what he takes. Probably a Sorcerer's Spyglass there. Um, and so it's just one of those things that uh, there's at least four Merfolk YouTubers now, five four or five um and uh i mean we put our stuff on youtube because why not um lotus petal sure we put it on youtube because why not like it's extra and, and it, it takes uh like i i just uh once i buy merfolk online yeah we and i know we've talked about that merfolk master that you wanted that you've been wanting to do some streaming as well um I mean, Tuck Steph streams, but he doesn't put it anywhere. You know, he just kind of does his thing and um, 
Ooh, Echo Point Truth is actually really good. Uh, another back, another really good backup. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and oh, there's the Thespian stage. Let's see, he has Dark Confidant, Sylvan Safekeeper. Activate abilities. Yeah, uh, let's name Sylvan Safekeeper. <laughs> uh, come on. And uh, we will go ahead and pass the turn. And what I'll do is I'll put his hand over here so that way we can still see what's going on in his hand. Oh, yeah, for sure, Corey. I, I, I mean, we just had both, so it's like, hey, let's just, let's just keep this and, and jam it. And at least turning off Sylvan Safekeeper really helps us out, um, really forces our opponent to have to play around things. And uh, they're gonna him to Turok us. Uh, don't like it, but and I mean, Bajuka Bog doesn't do anything to us, so we're not pulling things out of our yard. Although I totally see why they do it. Him was rough. The him was rough. <laughs> so our opponent only has one card that we don't know about. They didn't even play out the, the Thespian stage. Oh yeah, no, at this point, we just kind of tick up Vile because Venser's too good. He doesn't have a way to, to take it from us just yet, so that's good. Ugh, okay, pass the turn. Oh, thanks, Master. Uh, that's all Ishtin. Ishtin, uh, at Ishtin on Murfo or on, uh, on Murfo, on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> thank you for playing. Uh, uh, oh, he played the Thespian stage. Okay, so uh, it plays out the Sylvan Safekeeper because it's a creature. Sure. Yeah, we uh, we had uh, we had uh, Sean in here for a little bit. Uh, he had to he had to go to Betty by land. So. Um, that's a thing, but we're we're close. To, we're 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 the blue wave. <laughs> uh, we're we're definitely rising up in the Facebook group. Yes, we're taking up vile. Ugh! <laughs> what is this garbage? We're gonna lose to uh, uh, Bob and Sylvan Safekeeper. He drew Verdant Catacombs, plays the Ver Verdant Catacombs. Sure. I'm not going to play the Svencer just yet. We need to... Uh... I mean, we want, we want Venser. I mean, Venser has Flash. Well, <laughs> this is... This is not working out the way we wanted it to. And actually, that Sylvan Safekeeper, I think, is out of their hand. But they may just have another. Yeah, we're pretty punished right now. There's Verdant Catacombs. Gonna get himself a, a nice land there. But at least he can't use his Sylvan Safekeeper to keep the... Uh, um, uh, to to protect his his uh, his dude his uh oh dark depths which he just got so he can he can make the dark depths and we have <laughs> two <laughs> uncounterable ways or we have one did I pick human I picked human why did I do that well whatever <laughs> we have two uncounterable ways to 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 just yank that dark depths out so but we have definitely been punished for sure this has been 
bad. And we are not putting any more counters. Not land. Anything but land. I mean, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> Back to basics doesn't hurt, but uh, it's it's not the. I mean, it will it will help us if if this uh, if we just bounce his, his dark depths and then that's it. He has to totally reset. I just don't like giving the <laughs> I just don't like giving the dark dark depths player more time. And I mean, we have enough islands so that we're not we're not punished ourselves. Yeah, we just, we need we need creatures. <laughs> We need we need creatures. <laughs> Cause all right, abrupt decay. Um, okay, so if he does, if this resolves, then he he just attacks with impunity. I think we need, but I mean we don't. So we're between a rock and a hard place. Um, so our, the lines of play that we have here are, we can A, Venser to bounce the Sorcerer's Spyglass back to our hand. And we could technically replay it. Um, but he has two other cards in hand? Two other cards in hand that we don't know about. Maybe one of them is a Sylvan Safekeeper. Um, so we're, we're in the position where when we use up our Venser, we're not stopping him from Dark Depthsing and just killing us. I think that's the better line of play, is uh, is using the Venser to return uh, the Spyglass to us. Um, however, with Sylvan's Safekeeper, um, Venser doesn't matter really. I guess, I guess Sylvan's Safekeeper doesn't really work against Venser, so I think we're okay. Let's let it resolve. Uh, the music uh, is from an app called Pretzel. Uh, it just, uh, it uses non, like, it uses uh, music that is not, uh, oh, he got someone's crying. So he, if he Sylvan Scryings, then he's, oh, he got the Bayou, okay. Um, it uses music that is not copywritten. Yeah, uh, he got the landed, it, it, like, in the long run, he had t two draw steps, basically, with Dark Confidant. To, to draw a land, and so the safer line of play is to just let it resolve um, in the hopes that he doesn't get the land, but if he gets the land, it doesn't matter either way, so. And there's Vampire Hex Mage. Which he now doesn't have the mana to Thespian Stage, so he's just going for the... We need more creatures yesterday. He's just on the beatdown plan now. I mean, <laughs> technically, <laughs> uh, technically. Uh, this is, so they have different stations. It's like a radio station and uh, I just have it on the chip tunes uh, because if I have my headphones on, like I don't right now, um, it's really hard for me to talk over, um, oh, they got Ghost Quarter. Um, it's really hard for me to talk over like music I'm really tempted to play this Venser, but if he just gets enough lands and Dark Depths us, then we are just out of it. But Pretzel's a great app. It's free. Um, you can pay to like not put the little tracks in your chat, um, but I think to me it's a it's a low cost uh, for free music that I can put on YouTube and nobody will yell at me about. Force of Will. Man, we are just not drawing anything.
Come on, come on. And there's the Dark Depths. Take some damage off the Bob. There we go. I'm surprised that he didn't try with the Sylvan Safekeeper. Oh. Yeah, uh, we drew way too many lands and it didn't really matter. Oh well. Oh, draw a card. Let's see. Curse Catcher, Island, uh, Vencer. Uh, we just had too many land, or too many, uh, too many lands in a row. It just wasn't good enough for us. Eh, you know, you win some, you lose some. We'll see you in the next game. So let's get into this next game. Hopefully, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, we we will be back into the next game here shortly, and uh, 